Uh, in a sense, as I, I was thinking as Brother Bobby was talking, amen, in a sense, our lives are in his hand. Yeah. Amen. And we just got to figure out which hand we're going to be in. We're going to be in the hand of grace and mercy. Right. Or we're going to be in the hand of judgment. Come on. Amen. Every, every soul in this world is in his in one of his hands. Yes. Amen. I pray that everybody finds their way to the hand of grace. Amen. Thank God that we answered the call and we are in his hand of grace. Right. Amen. Praise God. Y'all gonna have to bear with me tonight. <laughs> yet. Amen. The Lord's been dealing with me on something here. Amen. And I've been trying to study it. And Amen. I tried to get out of preaching it tonight, but I just can't shake it. Amen. Come on. I've uh, never preached it before. Amen. I was praying a little bit Tuesday morning. The Lord got to dealing with me on the baker. Amen. So if you have your Bible, turn to the book of Genesis chapter 40. Amen. I'm just going to do my best to obey the Lord. Amen. Praise God. I want to. Read chapter 40, verse 1 through 4, then jump down to verse 16. And it came to pass after these things that the butler of the king of Egypt and his baker had offended their lord, the king of Egypt. And Pharaoh was wroth against two of his officers, against the chief of the butlers and against the chief of the baker. And he put them in ward in the house of the captain of the guard in the prison, the place where Joseph was, bound. And the captain of the guard charged Joseph with them, and he served them, and they continued a season in ward. Let's jump down to verse 16. When the chief baker saw that the interpretation was good, he said unto Joseph, I also was in my dream, and behold, I had three white baskets on my head. And in the other, uppermost basket there was of, a, of all manner of baked, baked meats for Pharaoh, and the birds did eat them out of the basket upon my head. And Joseph answered and said, This is the interpretation thereof, the three baskets are three days. Yet within three days shall Pharaoh lift up thy head from off thee and shall hang thee on a tree and the birds shall eat thy flesh from off thee. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we pray for God tonight. Father, that you'll move upon us tonight. God, we ask you, Father, God, for your touch. God, we ask you for the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Father, without the anointing, Father God, God, it's just words. Father, I ask you to anoint me, oh God. God, to preach this word tonight. Father, I ask you, God, that we find favor in you, God. God has chosen to find favor. God, I ask you, Lord, to play the Jesus. Lord, to reach down tonight, God. God, to touch my heart, my mind, oh God. God, to touch the hearts and the minds of people, oh God. God, I ask you, God, to move everybody tonight, God. God, I ask you to declare your speech of one vocabulary, oh God. God, use you tonight, God, for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Praise God. <coughs> Y'all will have to bear with me tonight. Bless him. Amen. Praise God. This congestion is about to drive me nuts. Amen. <coughs> And this progressively got worse today. Amen. Praise the Lord. But we find here in this Word of God, amen, that Joseph, we know all about Joseph, where he was, why he was where he is. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Always got something to do for the Lord. Amen. When you're called by God, doesn't matter where you're at, amen, you've got something to do for God. Amen. Amen. But we find here, amen, there's, amen, Pharaoh had two chiefs of his officers, amen, he had the chief baker and the chief butler, amen, and both of them done something, the Bible doesn't clear, clearly say what's taking place, amen, it just lets us know that they've done something to make the Lord, amen, raw with them, yeah. amen, praise God, and they find themselves in prison, amen, but if we look close, 
amen, at the dreams that these two men had, amen, you can look at these and you can, amen, in my mind, the Lord dealt with me on what, amen, caused them to be where they was at, amen, uh, praise God, and why the outcome was what it was, amen, why one of them, amen, uh, was brought back to the place with their Lord uh, and the other was hanged, uh, amen, uh, praise God, uh, amen, amen, when you look at these dreams, uh, amen, you find these two men uh, are in prison, uh, amen, uh, like I said, I don't know what took place uh, exactly, amen, but by the one's dreams, uh, amen, uh, somebody, amen, and the, the butler Amen. His dream, amen, brought him to a place. Yeah. Amen. Do you know that sometimes your dreams that you have come out of your heart mm -hmm. that's inside? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. amen. Yeah. Praise God. A lot of times you have dreams. You know, the Lord shows us a lot of things if we just want to listen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And sometimes our dreams that we have. They come from what's in our heart. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Amen. When, when you start having dreams about your loved ones, amen, it's because you love them, you care for them. Amen. And the dreams that God sends to you are the dreams that you have, amen, are coming from the abundance of your heart. Amen. It's just like the Bible said. And so folks might differ with me on this. That's all right too. Amen. But I'm telling you. Amen. Because people talk to me about their dreams. Amen. And when they talk to you about your dreams. And then you realize. You, you see what they face. You see what they fight. Amen. You see what they're going through. Amen. You know where it's coming from. Amen. Yes. yes. So when we, with that thought. We can look into these two men's dreams. Amen. <coughs> and I want to read the butler's dream. And the chief butler told his dream to Joseph and said to him, In my dream, behold, a vine was before me, and the vine were in and, and in the vine were three branches, and it was as though it budded. And her blossoms shot forth, and the clusters thereof brought forth ripe grapes. And Pharaoh's cup was in my hand, and I took the grapes and pressed them into the Pharaoh's cup, and I gave the cup into Pharaoh's hand. I want to read the baker's dream again. Remember that. When the chief baker saw that the interpretation was good, I want to stop there just a minute. That tells you a lot about the baker. Yes. Yeah. He wasn't going to say too much. He doesn't let Joseph know that he had a dream, but he didn't want to expose that dream. Yeah, come on. Okay. Until he found out that, hey, he just told him something good. Yeah, come on. Maybe he's going to tell me something come on. good. I hear you. Come on. Amen. <laughs> you know, he's optimistic. Uh, those are the word I'm looking for. Optimistic. optimistic. Yeah, optimistic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See that? That's a trait a lot of people have. That's not a good trait to have. So they, they want the same as somebody else. Uh -huh. yeah. Or they want yeah. more than what somebody else has. Right. Right. Amen. So by listening, looking at this, you'll find out there's something going on inside the baker. Come on. Amen. Praise God. It was all about himself. Right. Amen. It was all about me. Amen. I want a good dream. Right. Amen. I want a good prophecy. Right. Amen. There's folks. Uh, amen. I, and I believe in prophecy. I believe that there's prophets in this Come last on. day. Amen. Because the Bible talks about prophets. Uh, amen. Uh, there's going to be prophets in these last days. Uh, amen. We just got to be weary of the prophets that we listen to. Right. Amen. Uh, right. Praise God. The Holy Ghost will bear witness with them. Amen. And if the Holy Ghost bears witness with them, amen, then you got something to hang on to. Yeah. Amen. But if the Holy Ghost in you does not bear witness yeah. with Amen. Amen. You take that uh, prophecy as a grain of salt. Right. Amen. Come on. Yes. Amen. Yes. Praise God. But we find here there's some traits about this butler mm -hmm. that makes you understand why the king was wroth with him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now listen to his dream. And when the chief butler baker saw that the interpretation was good. He said unto Joseph, I also was in my dream. And behold, I had 
three white baskets on my head. Yeah. And in the uttermost, uppermost basket, there was of all manner of bas- baked meats of Pharaoh, and the birds did eat them out of the basket upon my head. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I got to looking at this thing. I got to pray about it. Amen. I said, Lord, what you trying to tell me? Amen. What you want me to share with the people? Amen. Praise God. Amen. If you look at where the, the, the butler had, amen, where was the butler's at? Amen. The butler had Pharaoh's key cup in his hand. Amen. Praise God. It was valuable to him. It meant something to him. Amen. But where do you find, amen, the basket of meat, the baked meat? of Pharaoh. Amen. That the baker made. He had up on his head. Amen. Out of his control. Amen. Out of his way. It wasn't important to him. Amen. It wasn't necessary. Amen. For him to look. Hey, I got up here where the birds can come get it. Amen. That's just like the Christians today. Amen. They take the anointing of God. Amen. It don't mean nothing to them. Amen. The grace of God don't mean nothing to them no more. The blood of Christ don't mean nothing to them. Amen. They just got it exposed for the world to come take away from them. Come on. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. And they wonder why they're backslid. Right. They wonder why they're dying out. Right. Amen. Well, you got Christians been in church 40 years. That's walking out on God. Amen. Because the anointing don't mean nothing to them no more. Because they ain't seeing no changes anymore. I don't see a change. Why should I live like this anymore? They still shouting. They ain't staying sanctified. They still shouting. They ain't staying consecrated. Amen. I, I know her. Amen. She ain't got a prayer life no more. Amen. But she still shouts in church. Amen. I, I still hear her speaking tongues. Come on. Amen. Amen. But where did Baker find his western place? He was hanged. Mm-hmm. And the fowls of the air mm-hmm. come and put the meat off his bones. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's folks today that's dying, Sister Sonia. Mm-hmm. And the devil's coming by and just plucking the meat off their bones. Yes. Amen. Yes. Why? Because they're not holding. Right. Amen. The Lord's. Yes. Right. Amen. The Lord's meats. Yes. You know, you look at you look at Abel and you look at Cain. Bible said Abel had more on, more honorable sacrifice, yeah. a more righteous sacrifice. Yeah. Amen. It meant something to him when he went and took the first of his flock. Amen. He he gave it to God. It meant something to him. Amen. Church, when your life means something to you, Amen. When your relationship with God, Amen, is important to you, Amen. Are you going to stick it where the birds can get it? Are you going to hold it in your hand and say, Hey, God, I got what you gave me. Yes. Amen. I ain't letting it go. I, let me tell you, there was not a man that could have pried the cup out of that butler's hand. Amen. Because he knew it was not his. It belonged to the Lord. Amen. Yes, amen. That's right. There was a time that the Holy Ghost was precious in the house of God. Yes, amen. amen. Yes. There was a time the Word of God was precious in the house of God. Oh, yes, amen. People wouldn't let their prayer life slip for nothing, right? People wouldn't let their relationship with God let nothing get in the way. Amen. This man done put two baskets. Amen. Between the basket of the baked meats that he had for the king. Amen. Not only did he put it on the very top, amen. He put something between it, amen, and himself. Amen. Church, when we start letting the things of this world come between us and God, amen, we're going to lose out with God. Amen. When we let something come between us and what God's given us or what we gave to God, amen. Yes, amen. It's baker made it. Yeah. It was baked meats for Pharaoh. Right? Yes, Jesus. I made it for him. Yeah. I made a prayer room for Pharaoh. Yeah. For the king. Yeah. I made a prayer a prayer time for God. Yeah. 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 But I don't spend no time in it. Uh-huh. Yes, Jesus. Mm-hmm. I allowed a football team to get in the way. Right. right. Come on. Yeah. Come on, man. Yes, yeah. soccer. Uh, come on. Soccer, basketball, 
golf. Amen. Amen. There was a time I used to have Sunday. Amen.